Welcome back to Boyfriend Dungeon. We just went deeper into the dungeon, deeper than we've ever been before. And then this immediately happened after we stumbled out of it. You stumble out of the dungeon, tired and sweaty, breathing hard. Your weapon transforms. Ugh. Oof, I think I overdid it. My bed's going to feel so good. <laughs> A whispering hiss stirs the underbrush as the shadows shift, slithering. Oh, what the fuck? He's advancing towards you slowly. Stay back? <laughs> the stranger smiles widely and takes another small step closer. Your skin crawls. He raises his blade arm and swings it in an arc, narrowly missing you. Ah. Back off, jerkwad. Jared, we should get to safety. Run, now! You split up and run to the night. It doesn't seem like he follows you, but you still lock your door behind you and quickly when you arrive home. What the was that about? That katana thing is Eric's friend? Dude, I thought Sunder was gonna be trouble, but this Eric guy has been like the most trouble. First off, let's make some stuff. Uh oh, glitch. What is this? Ooh, Valkyrie band, that looks neat. Is that the night helmet? What am I doing on stuff? A little low. Um, oh, sneakers. Sneakers is a gift. I thought something else. Doesn't matter. I, again, I'm not really feeling this suit. I thought I would, but maybe not. Let's just try this futurist thing. It kind of reminds me of what Seven wears. <laughs> not that I don't like him or anything, Baka. Um, yeah, let's wear it with this. Oh, wait. Phoenix Cap revives you once. The Valkyrie Band doubles all damage. Oh, so my damage, but also the damage I take. Carry more beverages, but fewer zines. Enemies get stunned when they damage you. Exit shows in minimap. I don't think I realized that half of these actually had effects. Do these? Oh, the suits don't, but the hats do? Oh, I don't want to look like an idiot, though. My anime hat was showing me exits. Let's do the thingy's cap. The one revive seems super good. Okay. Hey. Uh, oh, let's try pocket first. We live in the Paradise Lost Cafe. Do you want to look around there to find him? Okay. Uh, Eric, want to explain yourself? Did you do something? Something I should know about? I was attacked? I'm sure it was a misunderstanding. Don't be so sensed. Mm -mm. Uh uh. No. Mm -mm. No. Nope. 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 I know people like to kind of throw this word out there to the point where it kind of loses meaning, but I'm, I'm trying not to use it lightly, but like that was actually triggering. I hate that guy. I hate that guy. Let's talk to Seven. He seemed nicer. Uh, what were you saying? Oh, my can't scroll up. Okay. Um, it's cool to going to the dunge, but it's not exactly co cozy. I saw a poster for this cool show. Hmm. Chrono site. I'm in. I invite you over to watch TV, but my agent has this place bugged for sure. Do you want to come over? Cool, I'll be there soon. <laughs> oh, 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 uh. You have a few minutes before seven gets here. Uh, panic clean! You're struck by sudden anxiety. Your apartment feels suffocatingly dirty and boring. Tidy up! Clean! You do a bit of tidying and dusting, even though it's already pretty clean. You imagine his face of disgust or disappointment and your heart hammers in your chest. Everything goes dark. You feel a hand on your shoulder and sit in here. Hey, hey, it's okay. Breathe. Slowly, you take a shaky breath and open your eyes. Hey. hey. I'm here. I have a glass of water for you. Uh, how did you... Sorry, I barged in. The door was unlocked and I felt like something was wrong. I had to check. Mm -hmm. I'm glad I did. It seemed like you needed someone. You always seem so together, but I know how it is. Not anxiety, exactly, but um, I'm uh, chronically depressed. At first, I thought it was the stress of blade generation. I'm sure blade generation doesn't make it easier, but depression is part of who I am. I'm mostly on top of it. Therapy, meds, routines... 
They help me manage. Uh, but if I seem cold sometimes, that's why. Old coping habits, mostly. Oh, man. I understand all of this. It's harder now that Sung Woo is getting ever closer to my territory, but... Hmm. I was really glad you invited me over today. I've been stewing. Ooh, designer glasses? Here, have these. A fashion designer sent me these for sponsorship, but they look better on you. Oh, thank you. Sure, no problem. As for tonight, there's a new season of a series I like to binge, Chronosite. It won a bunch of awards. It's a detective mystery show set in the future. And I brought cheesies as a snack. I love mysteries. Mm. Then maybe I should keep my past mysterious, huh? Mm. Oh, well, too late for that, I guess. I'll have to invent new secrets. He falls into your couch and you put on Chronosite. Seems to mostly take place in alleys with smoking vents at night. They keep hinting that the detective can transform into weapon, but not what kind. Grumpy detective. Whichever way I step, fate is waiting to rip me, trip me up. Then maybe you should trip her first. Seven munches on a cheesy. He glances at you sidelong. Lean back. Look, there's more than six bullet holes. Somehow she, she had time to reload. That's impossible, unless... <laughs> Seven leads into you slightly, his knee brushing yours. The detective's assistant is short-lived and dies under mysterious circumstances. Wait, play that recording again. The voice in the call is smoky and jazzy. You'll never take me alive, Cybercup. I'm, I'm the garrote. No, I'm a garrote and there's only ro room for one in this town. Seven's lips quirk upwards, enjoying the show. Hell yeah. Uh, Firebolt. Chain Lightning does more damage when it doesn't fork, or Chain Lightning prefers to target enemies with lowest health. Um, Merciless seems better since the Firebolt basically only single target doesn't help. You are acutely aware of Seven's breathing next to you. his fingers? That's a lot. Uh, just hold his hand. You interlace your fingers comfortably, trying to act casual. You enjoy the rest of the show together until the credits roll. Would you like to offer a gift? Um... A cup of drink? Yeah! Like, everything else, like sneakers and games or shoes or anything like that, or vodka, like, the dude's, like, super rich and has sponsorships and gets stuff all the time, like, but a homemade cake. Huh? My agent would never let me eat this, so I better be quick. Hmm. I really like you, but I should go home. Oh, that's fine. You know, <laughs> don't need to push them. I'll text you. And look forward to the next time. Look, I don't know how to say this, but I'm into you. I have big decisions coming up, and even just your friendship would mean a lot. I'm here for you. Later. Bye. That, that, I played it cool, right? I did it right? I'm very cool. Um, hold on. Uh, oh, what does Jesse want? Summer's almost over! Can't believe we so by so quickly! Wait, what? You forgot! You're only here for the summer! That apartment's lease is almost up, and you have a flight home soon, remember now? Do I have to go? Am I actually running out of time? Well, yeah, your mom would kill me if I let you become homeless. Anyway, I have some news. You're probably busy, but... Eric's been acting weirder than usual. Plus, I went by his shop the other night, and there were weird lights and sounds inside. I think he's up to something. I don't trust that guy. Definitely up to something. I'm thinking we'd go over there and just gather intel. You up for it? Maybe? Is he like a secret villain? I also don't know if I want to waste that much time with him, you know? If I'm running out of time in the, in the summer, I could be sending it with people I like more. Hey, I've been thinking about you all the time. You'll tell me if I get too clingy, right? Promise. Cool. I don't want to take your friendship for granted. Talk to you later, okay? Okay. What's Billy Ray saying? That Katana thing is Eric's friend, right? If Eric thinks that's a joke, I'm going to stab him straight in the heart. I swear to God. Friends don't make friends feel unsafe. Yes, Valeria. Yes. Thank you. I got some glasses, though. One second. See further? Um, oh, I need to make that zine. 
I hope that's the right one. That was the sleepy time one. Damn it, one the machine one. Oh, I'm low on glue and plastic. I mean, I guess I gotta go to the shop to get some supplies anyway. Just don't trust the guy. Wait, it's a date with the cousin? What? Let me just go shopping first. The weapon shop is locked, but there's lights on inside. You look around, Over you don't see here. anyone. You spot Jesse hiding behind a car. You duck into a shadow and join him. Oh, okay. Uh, what Shh. are we doing? He's coming out. You hear the shop door open up and take a peek. You see Eric and his friend conferring. Repeat your orders once more. I don't want any mistakes this time. No. No killing. Come on, focus. You better double checked. Wa watch. Yes. Watch, Jared. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. A cookie for you. What kind of cookies do you like? Macaroon? Then attack, Jared. No. No, no. What about Oreos? This isn't going to work at all, is it? <laughs> I love, I love. Yes, I know you love me. I created you. It's only natural. <laughs> I love to kill. Oh. Well, that's unacceptable. I made you to obey me, and I don't want you to hurt anyone. Nice. Hmm. I mean, everyone has thoughts, but I don't actually want to hurt anyone. Nice. Ugh. Fine. Come back inside so I can fix you. You're in no state for a mission. <sighs> the stranger hisses and turns to look straight at you. No. Target acquired. Masamune inside now? Masamune smiles widely at you, staring openly. Eric follows its gaze and his eyes widen. Jared and Jesse, what are you doing here? Hey, Eric, we just uh, happen to be in the neighborhood. It was Jesse's idea. Ugh. I don't care whose idea it was. My privacy was violated without my consent. You're in a public space. Stop saying that. Now, as it happens, I could use your help. I put in a lot of effort gathering the materials and smithing him, but now I think it's time to deactivate Masamune. How? Well, I don't think I'd put in a self-destruct button, if that's what you're asking. That was your first mistake. I always put one of those in my Frankenstein monsters. Genius takes time. I have a smithing technique that'll make me rich here. Hmm. I knew there'd be kinks to work out in the design, but I thought they'd be sexy kind of kinks. I had hoped I wouldn't, c wouldn't come to this. Sorry, old boy. Eric pats the monster's shoulder awkwardly. The katana creature continues staring at you hungrily, shrugging away Eric's hand. Uh... So you want us to, uh, kill it? The thing's attention snaps to Eric. <laughs> no. Ah. Uh, Ixne and the Ilke. Masamane slashes at Eric, slicing open his arm and chest, exposing flesh beneath. Ah. Eric shrieks and faints as Masamane melts into a nearby slowly. Jesse dials 911. Yes, there's an emergency. We need an ambulance. 542 Tidal Lane. That'll help staunch the bleeding. I gotta chase that thing. You press on Eric's wounds, applying first basic first aid. I'm dying. I can feel it. My life force slipping away. I give my weapon shop to you, Jared. Take good care of it. Remember nah. me. Dude, you're going to be fine. Stop the dramatics. No. You don't know that. Maybe I'll be dead in any second. Then how will you feel? An ambulance pulls up. Remember me. A paramedic ushers him into the ambulance and drives away. Well, that could have gone better. At least we found something out. That katana creature's on the loose, though. We better be careful until it's found. Why did Eric want you to wanted to watch you anyway? He's a stalker. Well, you don't have to interact with him anymore. He went way over the line. Keep yourself safe, okay? God, yeah. I, all right. I can come stay on the couch just in case if it help you sleep. Sweet. No need. I have other people who can do that. You head home. You feel your heart leaping up into your throat, thudding, urgent. You lock the door firmly and then double check and lock it again to be sure. Your head feels cloudy, foggy, with thoughts that leap ahead of you faster than you can catch them. You saw Eric get attacked. What would Katana do next? What is he capable of? No answers come to mind, only questions. You putter around and waste time until the clock says you really, really should try to sleep. You lie down reluctantly, 
bracing yourself for hours of tossing and turning. You take a few deep breaths, curling up into yourself. Eventually, you fall into the darkness of deep sleep. In the morning, you find Jesse anxiously scrolling up on his phone. Hey, cuz, sorry, I lost myself in. There's a bit of an emergency. You might want to slow down. Oh, you're already sitting. Good. So, nobody's answering the phone. Hmm. Isaac, Sunder, Valyria, nobody. All my weapon friends are weirdly silent this morning. What does that mean? I don't know. I was hoping to figure it out before you woke up, but here we are. This is bad weird. What if, what if Katana got to them all somehow? Jesse jumps at the knock at the door. Who is it? Don't worry, the lock will hold. Jesse looks through the peephole. Oh, it's just Samantha. She's probably a little weirded out too. I'll be right back. He unbolts the door and steps out. You quickly lo lock the door behind him. Let's look out the peephole. You see an empty stairwell. Weird, where'd Jesse go? You realize, despite all of your striving, you're alone. Everyone is gone, maybe forever. What the heck? It's my fault. You remember all the times you pushed someone away or made yourself less likable? You laughed at the wrong times, you asked the wrong questions, you were too quiet or too loud. <gasps> you were here hissing and jumped to realize Katana is standing next to you with a smirk. Fast. I'll destroy you. You grow in power and strength and decide to f this is a fight worth having, a fight worth winning. Yes. Katana shrinks back from your newfound resolve. You rush to meet Katana and demand answers for your missing weapon friends. He melts into darkness. You chase him for what feels like a long time, until you're panting with exertion. You wake up with a trace of sweat beating on your back. Was that just a dream? Through a series of pinches, you determine the dream is over, and you're really awake now, probably. You take a deep breath, and feel a clarity thrill through you, from scalp to fingertips. You take another deep breath. Whatever happens, you're ready. Dude, is this like, main villain? Situation here? We gotta do something about this monster on the loose before you fly home. Gonna be the end of summer before you know it. When is my flight? Exactly. And how much time is passing? Too soon, so we gotta hurry. A little bit. I'll try to grill Eric. He's in the hospital, but that means he can't run away. I've been taking blacksmithing classes. Maybe I can use that. Let you know if I find out anything. Do I have time to make my stuff still and go into the dungeon for... With my boyfriends and girlfriends? But I, like, just got the cat. I can't be, like, ending this fast, right? Oh, this is no longer available. I can't purchase... Things. Shit. Hold on. I have a lot of money. Can I buy one of those tickets? Yeah, opera tickets, contra tickets. Holy energy. I have a $300?! How about, uh... Contra tickets. Oops. I guess I also bought these. All right. Um. I guess there's not much else for me to do other than go deeper into the dungeon? Mansion, dude. For the cat? I thought the cat was at Paradise Lost. Who's here? I don't know if I want to waste my time on that. Should I just keep going into the dungeon? Can I go in the dungeon? Like, they're all here, but they're not... Said they're not responding, though. This place didn't always have monsters in it. Okay. Maybe we're okay. Get me spooked, game. Ooh, treasure. Holy energy. Storm zine recipe. Blue and a lot of money. You like a break? Sure. Flopping to a seat feels good. You realize you're more tired than you thought. Probably takes a lot out of you, doesn't it? 
offer a gift. Ah, uh, no, she's pretty close to leveling up. <sighs> Valyria Stuffers, Leon. Well, it's not too late to learn from our mistakes. It's safe. How about a quick cat nap? I'm actually bad at naps. Mm -hmm. She snuggles into your shoulder, taking your arm in hers. Oh. When you open yours up, Valyria's already up and her edges are gleaming. All right. Great little nap. Oh, lasers. Come here, bitch. Ha ha! Confused! Ow. God, these, like, big exploding music notes are the worst. Die. Give me your money. Ow. Hoop. Oh, mini dudes. some stab in Valyria. You're doing great. These aren't even the hard lips. Where's the pierced purple lip ones? Money. In a dark essence. Um. Guess we'll level up seven a little bit too while we're at it. Urgh. That's a 999. I see that right. Oh, it just stomped me to death. Oh, but I have the Phoenix. I'm alive. Oh, my hat's gone. Is it like gone forever? That, that deals so much damage and I can't stun it. I blew it. Well, that probably wasted a day of summer or whatever. <sighs> What'd you say? I'm out of the hospital, by the way. Not that you care. I don't. My near-death experience made me realize I have to come clean. What'd you do? It's hard to know where to start. Don't make me meet up with you. I stole parts of weapons of people to make mas Masamune. A chip from a dagger, a pin from a lightsaber, and so on. I had fallen in love with each one, but they turned me away, all of them. After they rejected me, I, f I felt like they took a part of me with them, so I took a part of them. I thought I'd reshape into something new, something beautiful, but I knew in my heart better than I did, so it became a monster. You're the monster? Hey! You're right. I deserve that, but I'm sorry. I really am. You don't know what it's like being unloved. Everyone loves you. You hadn't been cast aside over and over and over. Okay. Sounds like you're projecting. I shouldn't make excuses. I don't deserve your pity. I'll figure out how to put things right somehow. This guy is actually the villain. Also, I know you're leaving soon, but I think I know how to defeat Eric's monster. Which, by the way, now that I've looked it up... Eric's naming the monster Masamune is ridic. Somewhere out there, there's a gorgeous Japanese man I'd call him Masamune, but this waiter, I'm just gonna call him Katana. Anyway, here's the plan. You beat him up. Genius. Thanks. Wait till you hear the brilliant part. We're gonna lure Katana into Eric's forge, and I'm gonna do some blacksmithing magic, weaken him, and then he can spring out and fight him. You know magic? Eh, I've been taking blacksmithing classes, we'll see. So when you're ready, call me from the weapon shop. Keep your weapon friend sheathed for as a surprise. You know how weird Eric gets when weapon folks are around. It'll probably be a pretty tough fight. Make sure you're ready. Like, ready, super ready. Oh, is that like final boss moment? Aren't we in a hurry? You better careful than dead. Okay? Okay. 
Dude, am I like towards the end of the game already? Deliria. Oh, you had a drink for the other night. And I miss hanging out just as like humans. Daggering's fun, but not as fun as your lips. Come to my studio. Yes, I'm there now. Sick. Yeah. Gonna do that. Okay, now we actually have like something of a main villain for us to worry about and deal with. Intrigue. It, that does feel like some final boss stuff. Judging by the way that Jesse's building it up, just like, yeah, make sure you're ready, because this is it. And I still need to find my other fears, so... I wonder if there's a game that you're supposed to play through more than one time. This is cool, though. I still haven't decided which one I want to finalize on. Valyria's cool. So is Seven. Nyeh. As always, thank you guys so very much for watching. See you next time.